Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you And we'll go back to the story of Gudon. An orc warrior of such great might that even in Deidre god Malakath asked for him to fight. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! For the orc responsible for his shrine. Oh, he did not think him very fine. He fought him puny and rather weak, and does his search for an orc with a tough, mean streak. You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. Proven worthy in all of this. And pleasing the strongest of perhaps all the Deidre creatures. He was be gifted a unique weapon with rather spiky features. And with Vulndrang and Wutred by his side, there was no more place where a dragon could hide. And thus they sat still and dared not even attack. And even when they saw him, they very quickly doubled back. And sad as it was, Gudarf could think of only but one quest that could really put this mighty orc to Are you death. familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck. And with the knowledge bequeathed by the Mara priest, he brought his Ayla to a slaughtering feast. An amulet of Mara. You're looking for marriage then? For he knew that love was just like a good fight, and thus he thought this a very romantic sight. And lo and behold, Ayla the werewolf wanted to hear more. And thus soon they did him. Well, adult things, all across the floor. I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together, in love, now and forever? Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. Married. It doesn't feel like I thought it would, but I'm happy. And yes, indeed, it's true. Gulda settled down. I'll be waiting for you at A shocker, I know. For you too. And after, well, the ritual fun, Gulda started his job as smitting in one run. In fact, as I have understood, his work was rather good. And does he earned quite well? And made a much larger home, he fought very swell. And there he now lives together with his wife, living out the rest of his life? I do not know, it sounds so strange that the great hero Goldar would undergo such great change. For I'm not sure if he really understands that if he reminisces, his legend might not last. After all, there is the Kanji to Gadwerma armor at level 1. And there's the Vigil of Stendar, who trained for two days straight, just for fun. What was that? But who is to say what is right or wrong? Because the hero of the song in the end did got his booty. So I guess great peril does yield great beauty. <laughs> 